Hi, this is Diane Sussman from Step Up and Shine and SoulConnectionCoaching.com. I read a quote by Waldo Emerson uh, that said, Who you are speaks so loud, I cannot hear what you are saying. And I just love that quote because it, re it it's a reminder to us that Truly, so much of what we are presenting to other people, what we're giving to other people, really comes from our soul energy. And it's, it's true that we often don't know what that is. We don't really know who we are. And we want to get closer to a, a, a depth of understanding about who we most are so that we know that when we step up on stage, when we speak to another person, whether that's one-on-one, -on -one, in a networking meeting, talking about the work that we can do for them, the service that we can provide for them, or whether it is having a polished speech that we give uh, to hundreds or thousands of people, the essence of the work that we're meant to deliver. So who you are really matters. And that's taking the layers off, really uncovering and getting to a much deeper place of authenticity of acknowledgement, of awareness, of what you've really come here to help other people with. Now, Carl Jung, who was a, an amazing, powerful 20th century psychologist, talked about something he called the shadow. And the shadow is really the disowned parts of you mostly the disowned parts of you projected onto others uh, in, the, in the way of, you know, emotion. So you may, you know, just hate the way that this person, you know, always steps up in front of others as this sort of arrogant fool, or you have this idea that, you know, somebody's just a total you know, idiot because of the way that he, you know, pushes through and gets his, his uh, needs met at other people's expense. But in fact, it, this is a really interesting point. If you are triggered by somebody else's behavior, there may be some, there has to be something inside of you that relates to it. And I know what I'm saying is pretty intense, pretty deep work, because it means that the things that you hate most about other people are probably living inside you as disconnected parts of your own being. And I'm going to suggest that in order to come to a much deeper authenticity and Power, powerfulness <laughs> and leadership potential that you take some time to actually list the things that you dislike in other people, especially your family members or your very close friends. These are the people that you spend a lot of your time with. And these are the people that are probably going to trigger a lot of your own shadow work. And when you do that, and if you can take some time to reclaim those qualities, those traits, you're going to see that you may be able to integrate your own shadow qualities a little bit more. And the result will be potentially profound. I know that this is true for me. Uh, when I've done this work and dug a little bit deeper, gone a little bit further, uh, owned parts of myself that I really would rather not 
Uh, for me, it had a lot to do with feeling that I needed to be perfect or, you know, the uh, the loyal one or the perfect one. The I couldn't make any mistakes. And therefore, I was, you know, stepping on eggshells most of my life and really not being powerful. Not being willing to make mistakes means that you're not willing to get in front of other people because, of course, you're going to make a mistake. You're going to hem and haw. You're not going to remember what you wanted to say. You, you know, there's a lot of things that happen in that. But coming to peace in your own uh, being really taking care of yourself and loving those disowned parts of yourself are going to go a long way to uncovering and revealing the the true beauty that you are. So with that, this is Diane Sussman from Step Up and Shine, and I want you to really step up in your life. Goodbye for now.